What's good guys, it's Razzin and Cinnamon, and this banger video, man. I'm going to be bringing you guys this 4-way minutes build on NBA 2K25. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, turn on post notifications, and subscribe to the channel. Now, I posted a video on gameplay on this build yesterday, so make sure you guys go check it out. But to be completely honest with you, bro, this build can literally do almost everything, bro. This build can shoot, dribble, dunk, play defense, and I promise you, I'm not lying when I say this, like... You literally have so many good badges. You guys get so many good animations with this build. Like, it's actually crazy how good this build can actually be. And to be honest with you, like, it's one of my favorite builds in the game. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys turn on post notifications and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into it, man. All right, so in order to make this build, obviously, you guys are going to want to go to the main menu of NBA 2K25. You guys are going to click on my career. You guys are going to go to the build. All right. And what you guys are going to want to do is make sure you guys copy everything that I do, okay? This is a very, very good build. It's very overpowered. And yeah, so I just go right-handed. Jersey number does not matter. I'm just going to do, you know what I'm saying, number one just because. All right, you're going to want to go position as shooting guard. You're going to want to make sure the height is six foot four and the weight is 233, okay? Make sure that you guys put the wingspan to 6'10". All right, now you guys are going to want to copy these stats right here. Now... You guys can put the driving hook to an 80. All right. That's what I personally did. And it's still very, very good on this build. Put the driving layup to a 71. Okay. That's really all you need, to be honest with you. And then you guys also get a 45 standing dunk. So that's going to help you guys out a lot right there. All right. Now, what you guys are going to want to do is make sure your three is maxed out at a 91. All right. 91. Okay. You guys are going to get gold set shot specialist. And you know what I'm saying? You guys are going to, or not, that's mid range. What am I doing, bro? Imagine. 81 mid-range, okay? That's on me. I ain't gonna lie. 91-3, okay? You guys are gonna get silver, limitless range, silver dead eye, gold set shot, specialist. You're gonna wanna keep the free throw down. I ain't gonna lie. Because, like, 66 should be good enough. I ain't gonna lie. If you wanna play wreck on this build, then you can play wreck on this build. You could tweak it to however you want. But this is just personally how I would make this build, okay? 61 pass accuracy because you're just gonna be playing the ones. Um, 86 speed with ball. And then you guys are going to want to go with 94 perimeter defense. All right. 94 perimeter D, 70 interior. All right. This is a ISO lockdown build, okay? You guys are going to want to go 85 steel. And you guys are going to want to make sure that your block is at a 68. You're going to want to put your offensive rebound to a 70. All right. And what you guys are going to want to do is make sure that your defensive rebound is on a 55. Your speed, you're going to want to go with a 94. Your agility, you're going to want to go with a 91 maxed out and a 93 strength, okay? Now, for some reason, it's kind of not letting me do that, but I think it's because of the post control. I ain't going to lie. Hold on. It's a close shot. Let me get lower that. So, make sure you guys don't do that. I ain't going to lie. Make sure you guys don't do that because it's going to mess up your build. I ain't going to lie. So, make sure that you guys strength 92, which it should be 93. So, this is the build right here, okay? 91 three point. You guys are going to get Gold Shifty Shooter, Gold Set Shot Specialist, Silver Limitless, and Silver Deadeye. Now, when I tell you guys, this build can literally fade insane, bro. I'm literally Chad Mar sliding to the corner and fading it, bro. Like, this build is very easy to fade on. You also get an 81 mid-range. And then you guys also get Hall of Fame Strong Handle, Silver Ankle Assassin. You guys get Silver Handles for Days and Silver Unpluckable. And then you get Gold Lightning Launch, okay? And then with cap breakers, you guys can get 99 perimeter defense. You get an 80, um, you get an 85 steal. You get gold challenger, gold on ball menace, pick dodger, immovable enforcer on um legend, bro. That's absolutely insane. Like that's huge. Um, this obviously is gonna you know make it a lot easier to get stops on the ones. And then you guys also get high flying denier. And then with your speed, you guys get um a ton of other good badges as well. So the strong handle and the immovable enforcer right there are just they're just so good, bro. And then if you guys get uh, five cap, if you put five cap breakers on your perimeter defense, you guys will have all legend badges, okay? 95 perimeter defense will give you guys, um, you know what I'm saying, a Hall of Fame challenger, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, you guys could use the other cap breakers on ball handle if you want to get a 92 ball handle so that you guys can actually get Trey Young. Um, and then your driving dunk, you're going to want to go 80. All right, you guys can honestly tweak this however you guys want. I seen a couple people put the agility down a little bit so that you guys, you know what I'm saying, didn't have to worry about that. Like, who's going to need slippery off ball? I ain't going to lie to you. So, you can lower the agility and you could put the rest on, a, like, pass accuracy or something. Or at least just get, like, a 75, 76, 77, you know, 78 pass accuracy or whatever. 78 should be good. 
to be honest you don't even read need, really need all that agility if you got the speed you know what i'm saying but it is all your personal preference you know what i'm saying and then you guys could also you know what i'm saying just mess with all these stats right here okay now to be completely honest with you like this is what i would do i ain't gonna lie to y'all um i would put you know if you're gonna play wreck i'd put the, the free throw on you know what i'm saying i put standing dunk more on um, and this is how I would run like a wreck build or like a threes build um, or something like that. Because you guys still get pass accuracy. You guys still get good speed, good strength. You know what I'm saying? This build is still going to be good. But you guys can use this build however you guys want to. All right. So these are the drip moves you guys are going to want to do. Now, if you get 92 ball handle, um, you guys are going to want to make sure that you guys have Trey Young as your signature size up. Trey Young is your um, behind the back. But these are the dribbles that I run since I only have an 86 ball handle. And then I have Klay Thompson's dunk style on with Donovan Mitchell's um, motion style. Kyle Lowry how jumper. The jump shot that I'm going to be using is Cam Thomas base, Oscar Robinson release one, Kyrie Irving release two. And then this is the blend right here. You guys are going to want to make sure your visual cue is on push, five takes past the white line. And then 4-4 four, four speed, 65% Oscar for 35% um, Kyrie. Now that's the same exact jump shot that I use on my 6-4, my small guard. That I use on that build obviously has better shooting, better, you know what I'm saying, uh, stats for driving dunks in 93. Um, defense is decent, 91 steel, 85 perimeter, you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, this is just a better version of that build pretty much, I would like to say. You get a 91, 3, 94 speed. Like, this build is just insane, bro. I promise you right now, you guys will not be disappointed. Um, I show some gameplay clips at the end of this video. So if you guys want to see gameplay on this build, um, go check out the video. That I posted yesterday, but I'm gonna also put some gameplay at the end of this video as well. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.